I'm going to show you how to install your water genie by connecting it to a water supply, a CO2 tank, and a power outlet. So let's just start with the tools and parts you're going to need to complete the installation. Obviously you're going to need your water genie. This comes with the required valve fittings and hoses. So there are two different sizes of hoses here included with your purchase. Um, then there are also two different fittings here. One goes to your CO2 regulator, the other goes into your water supply. So we'll show you that later. You're also going to need a CO2 pressure regulator and a CO2 tank. Now you can use any size CO2 tank you want. We recommend the largest one that's gonna fit in the area that you intend to install it in. Um, that's gonna reduce your frequency of having to refill it and also reduces your cost of, of carbonated water. So. We're going to use a five pounder because this is what fits in the area where we're going to install. All right. So this is the area where I'm going to install my water genie. I already have a hole in the countertop there. That's from a old soap dispenser, I think. So I'm going to use that hole to run the water CO2 line and CO2 lines through the counter. And I'm going to store the CO2 tank underneath the sink there. So the first thing we have to do is we have to connect it to a water supply. Uh, you need to locate first your cold water supply valve. And I already know that my cold water supply valve is this one here on the right. So the first thing you want to do is turn it to the right and make sure that that cold water supply valve is turned off. All right. Next thing you want to do is put a bowl underneath here. Make sure you have that down there or a bucket or something in case there are any drips when you disconnect that line. All right, so go ahead and grab your wrench and carefully loosen and remove the hose connection. Just go ahead and thread the silver part directly onto the water valve. Next step. Take the hose that was already connected before you did this and connect it directly into the silver part. So there are two different diameter hoses included in your kit with the water genie. You're gonna to wanna to get the smaller one and connect that into this adapter valve that we just installed. So first remove this blue lock tab, keep that and then insert the white supply white line into that tab and then reinsert the blue lock tab to keep it tight. Now, this other end, the other end of your line will go into the water genie. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread that up through the top here and connect it. Okay, so at this point, I've connected the adapter valve I've reconnected the hose going into the faucet to this end, and I've connected the white hose that will supply the water genie into this other end. Turn this blue valve towards the white hose to turn the water supply on, but don't engage the water yet. We're gonna keep that off until everything is connected. Now I've threaded this white line going up through the faucet there, over onto this side. Um, and you just want to go ahead and connect this hose into the lower inlet of the water genie. And then just make sure you secure it with one of these blue lock tabs to make sure it doesn't remove. Now the water supply is connected. So at this point, you can go ahead and test it. I'm going to turn the water supply back on. Open this up. And I'm hearing water pressure. Check for any leaks, make sure there's nothing leaking. Looks like we're good here. I have water coming in and I don't have any leaks up here. So the water looks like it is connected. Now our next step is to connect it into the CO2 tank. So get your CO2 tank, uh, make sure you get your regulator. Uh, first step is to connect this valve. It's, a, it's an adapter into the regulator. So let's go ahead and do that. Gonna go into the bottom and it's gonna thread in just right here.
All right, now remove this blue lock tab and connect the other hose into this push connect. Pull it back and reinsert the blue lock tab. Now we're gonna connect this to our CO2 tank. Make sure it's tight. All right, now my regulator's connected, my valve is connected, I have my hose connected. So my next step is to connect the other end of the CO2 into the water genie. Go ahead and move this over here. I'm gonna put the, like I said, I'm gonna put this CO2 tank underneath the sink. So, I'm gonna put that right there. This will go under here. And I'm gonna thread this end up through the top. Oops. I have it threaded through. This is coming from the CO2 tank. So go ahead and remove that plug on the back of the water genie. Turn this this way so you can see what's going on. And connect the CO2 into the back. Then put the blue lac tab back on. Okay, so we've connected the water supply into the water genie. We've connect, we've turned the water on. We've connected the CO2 tank into the water genie. We haven't pressurized the CO2 yet. Um, and we are now just going to connect the power outlet. So just, I'm gonna run mine. I have an outlet underneath the sink. So I'm gonna run my power through this hole here and fish it through. All right, so I've connected the water supply, I've connected the CO2 tank, and I've connected it to a power outlet. Now the next step is just to pressurize the CO2 and turn it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and pressurize the CO2 by opening this up here. Um, now make sure that your pressure doesn't exceed 75 PSI. So I've got that on. And now we're gonna turn this on. turn it on. There's a green button on the back. I hear it engage the compressor. And there we go, folks. Sparkling water on tap.